What is up, YouTube? Happy Easter Sunday morning. We kind of got the market fiasco. The uh, the peak craziness, I'd say, has sort of died down. The market, I think, is in a very, very good spot right now. We're going to kind of go through uh, um, some reactions, like what I think what we did wrong, what we did right, my kind of overall thoughts on the market, what I'm doing right now, I'd say, to make some coins. But let's hop right into it. First thing, though, I do want to talk about is the Yanks. General consensus right now from the community, smalls and mediums. If you went all out on smalls and mediums, you are going to win big time. And luckily for me, I did put a lot of my coins and kind of, I'd say, egg investments into smalls and mediums. The larges are pretty much mixed reviews, I'd say. The the 21K extravagant eggs are kind of just like meh. You probably lost a little bit. The big loser really is the Cooper Cup egg. And I guess the 62K eggs right now, the current moment, would be L's. But I think we were patient with ourselves of guys like Vernon Davis, Reggie White, and Barry Sanders. We're going to be able to recoup a lot of our coins back. If you're curious when I'm opening my eggs, I have over a thousand eggs to open. I am doing it live on Twitch in a few hours from now, 4 p.m. West Coast time, 7 p.m. East Coast time. I'm hoping everyone's done with their Easter festivities and kind of can join us really for a late night stream. We're going to be opening up eggs, talking the market, all that fun jazz. But we're going to hop now into kind of more of the market stuff. So taking a look at the 99 overall kind of 62k eggs what popped out of course we got barry sanders reggie white and vernon davis was the big curveball right now barry sanders is the most expensive 99 currently going for about 315k although they are flooded flooded on the market i got a bunch of questions in discord like 30 minutes after they open like hey when are we selling the 99 look i'm not i'm not selling these for probably a week or two you can just see there's over probably 300 of each card listed up on the block right now. They are pretty solid. I'm kind of happy with where they are at right now. I thought they'd be more around like a 250, 225k range. They're at the 300k mark and it's kind of still the first day. So we should be able to get the 400k, at least 350, probably by next weekend. We're really just trying to recruit about 350 to 375k worth of coins in each of these cards. So it's looking good right now they're at 300k right now i'm hoping in a week two weeks time we get to that 350 400k mark kind of get all those coins back but of course the big loser in the 62.5k eggs we were spot on all right i know a lot of people thought this egg wasn't going to be cooper cup cooper cup was going to be the red egg the king egg it was the red egg and it's a big loss i mean he's looking at about 250k which actually again is a lot higher than i thought he'd be i thought he'd be more around like the 190 200k range but 250 Honestly, for Cooper Cup, from what I expected, if it was just the Cooper Cup egg and it was just Cooper Cup, I thought he'd be going for 200k. Not a terrible price, but you still are losing out on about 100k, and he's really not going to go up because he's been in the game for a few months now. The demand for him really is just training. If you had him on your team, you've already like used him and stuff like that. So he's not really going to go up in price too much. He's more of just a training, uh, training value. So he's not going to go up. He's a big L. You're going to lose about 100k on the Cooper Cup egg. We're now going to move into the, like, this sort of section in the video. We're going to talk about like kind of what we learned, all right? What were W's, what were our L's when it came to kind of investing, how we planned out the market crash. Now, the first, I wouldn't really call this an L, wouldn't call this really a W, but the high demand players, man, they rose so quickly on the market. I know Randy Moss, you had like a 10 to 15 minute window when he was at like 250, 245, 235, like right when eggs open. Him, a lot of the other guys like Ronnie Harrison, Mike Haynes, they have just shot back in price. It's why I kind of told you guys, hey, buy your team first because the market, the most in-demand players are going to be the ones that shoot up the fastest. Randy Moss all the way back to 300K. Mike Haynes hasn't really moved that much. Ronnie Harrison's up to about 485, almost 500K, which is absolutely absurd. Now, all those kind of, I would say, L's just because we kind of thought that, hey, they'd probably maybe drop Randy Moss, drop to like 200K. He really only got down to like 230 before going right back to the 300K. The big W's when it comes to kind of our, I'd say, predictions and the evaluation like what we thought the market would happen uh, ltds uh they, they've gone crazy uh lamar jackson we, we knew this was going to happen though with kind of how the supply of these cards were not being put onto the market at all on sunday the only thing that was happening with these cards is people were buying them for their teams so you're gonna see lamar jackson up to 550 Jalen ramsey peaked at about 525 he sells about 500k and then lawrence taylor i was buying for 330 yesterday 350 he's all the way up to 475 he got all the way up to 500k but i think he's actually still in rerolls I've heard things on Twitter, I've heard rumblings that he is still in rerolls. So he's at 475, which I have sold off pretty much all of my LTDs. I've just taken the coins, right? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to stretch it out too much. I had a lot a lot of coins invested in those LTDs. So I just took the profit and ran. Randall cutting in. This is kind of one of the biggest things because I got a ton. I mean, there was probably 25, 30 people that just DM me either through in the comments on YouTube, on Twitter saying, hey, should I sell Randall Cunningham? And I'm just like, nah. I mean, he's pretty much an LTD. He's gone from about 250k, 240k, all the way up to 375. Hopefully, you held on to Randall Cunningham if you wanted to keep him for your team because LTDs and these high-demand players, 
man, they rose and they rose fast. Next thing we're going to talk about is Sugar Rush players and how you should be acquiring players in Madden right now for your team. So if you missed out on kind of the early rush, you're probably wondering, hey, these Sugar Rush players, all right, I, Joe, you told me these guys were going to be 200k. You told me set guys like free agents were going to be 180, right? You, you lied. You're a fraud. And I'll tell you, you're looking in the wrong place to actually complete and get these players. What you're going to want to be doing is actually completing the set because Sugar Rush players aren't directly involved with an eggs. The champion players, like for example, Devontae Adams, are not directly involved with the eggs, but the pieces are. Now, what you're gonna wanna do for Sugar Rush players though, is buy training. The training price I've kind of set for myself in my head when I wanna do any set right now, it's 2.3 or below. Now that 95 for 47K is about 1.9. That's severely under. The snipes on a lot of these guys, the filters I've been using, a lot of the wildcard Wednesday filters, flashback, heavyweights, rising stars, 94 to 95, also ultimate legends. I pay no more than 60K for a 95 overall, which is exactly 2.3 per training. After you get your training for about 2.3 per, you're gonna make your way over into the training store because no one is really thinking about this right now. 96 overalls cost about 30, well, not about 39K training in the store. 117K total, of course, 39 times three. That's how much training you're gonna need for a 98 Sugar Rush player. And it's gonna cost you if you pay for 2.3, and that's max. You're gonna pay for a lot lower than that probably. 270K, you're gonna see me because I had to do a Kyle Pitt set. I'm going to knock out a set real quick. I buy my 396 overall players. I head over. And again, you're going to do probably multiple of the 98 Sugar Rush players because you don't want them on your team. You take the Kyle Pitts, right? Again, he's going for what, 235, 240 right now. He hasn't really gone down, but you get this candy back, right? 14K candy. And candy still has a lot of value right now. If you go over to the 96, 97 filter, unfiltered 96, 97, just for Sugar Rush, you can see you can sell 96 overall players for 95,000 coins. Let's say 90,000 coins is the low. I'm going to even go down lower because this probably is a little bit too much for a 96 overall Sugar Rush player. I'm going to say 90,000 coins for a Sugar Rush player. That's still five per for candy. So you take that 14K candy, right? You go in the training store or the candy store. And once you get 22K candy, you're going to buy a Sugar Rush player and sell them for 95,000 coins. I'll throw the exact math up on the screen. I tweeted it out because I think a lot of people are kind of missing the whole idea of how you should be acquiring players right now it's through sets man you can complete sugar rush sets for pretty much 200,000 coins or less when the players are going for 235 you're just scamming yourself basically by buying those players for 235 when you can be doing this set for 200,000 coins and it takes five minutes to do and this isn't going to involve just the sugar rush sets if you take a look at ultimate legend sets now i know on the screen when i looked at the, at the time of me looking up randy moss this wasn't the greatest prices the 96 pretty much went up from 90k to 115 but there are, but if you plan on doing like, let's say you want Rodney Harrison in your team, I doubt Rodney Harrison's set costs like 450,000 coins. I bet you it's more around the 300, 350k mark to get you just a discounted player by doing this set. Do the dirty work, take the long route, and you're going to get these players at massive discounts. A perfect example is right here. Free agency sets. It's going to require 495 overalls. You can pick these guys up for about 65,000 coins. And if we go take a look at the 98 overall champions, for example, Devonta Adams goes for 250k. If you take 65k, times that by four, it's going to be about, I think it's 260k on the dot. 260k, Devonta Adams is pretty much going for 260k, and you get training back. You're going to get back 19k training, which of course right now is not worth that much, but you're still saving 45 to 50k. Okay, don't be buying a lot. And this is going to apply to Combine, guys. This is going to apply to GG2, guys. Any player or any champion that had their pieces involved with an eggs, do the sets. You can get massively discounted players. You're just, like I said, wasting money by buying the players straight up from the auction house. And then for the last portion of this video, I'm just kind of going to be walking you guys through what I really did in the morning when it comes to what I bought, what I sold, and really what I am continuing to doing probably throughout the day. Now, when it comes to the market this morning, it was absolute craziness, pandemonium, chaos, but I found myself actually not overpaying for investments. I know I had a lot of investors, investments I wanted to make this morning when it came down to like Reduxes, Wildcard Wednesday, Bo Knows. I found myself just t telling me basically, hey, don't overpay for cards. You're gonna notice my bids. I've actually only bought like 45 to 50 cards this morning. Not that much. You see a Revis there for 82. Right, your bonos. I really try to focus on bonos players and redux players this morning, just because the really only way, like this is the time where they're gonna be flooded onto the market. I don't really want to prioritize wildcard Wednesday investments other than training. That's training, by the way, you're seeing for like 45k for 95. But like I'm not prioritizing wildcard Wednesday cards just because they could always like be in rolls throughout the week. And when it comes down to like legends, legends are always usually flooded throughout the weekend, stuff like that. But whereas reduxes and bonos are bonos cards. 
they can't really be like flood on the market for the rest of the year. Eggs is pretty much it. So I really focused on those. You see like a Wilbur Marshall for cheap Bruce Smith, but I really wasn't overpaying. I wasn't forcing any investments. If if cards, like I know uh, the best examples I kind of gave is Jamal Adams, Mika and Spatrick. I was planning on buying a ton of them today for around like 75, 80,000 coins. They never really showed up for that price. They kind of just hovered around the 95, 100K mark. And I'm like, hey, I'm not going to overpay. 95 overalls are going for 55K. They're going for 60K. Why should I pay 100K for a 95 overall? That's double the training price. It's not what I wanted to pay for going into today. I'm not just going to basically uh, cave in to the, to the inflated prices. The other thing I found myself doing a lot more this morning than I originally thought was just straight selling cards. You're going to see a lot of my smaller investments really hit. Now, we know the LTDs went up in price a good amount. I did sell off most of my LTDs just because, again, like I said earlier, I'm taking the profit. I'm not going to just stretch it out too much. But simple, like kind of just weighing games on like a Jalen Ramsey Core Elite, which was 15K yesterday. He's with 35, 39. A Kyle Pitts team of the week is a great example. I bought two for 20K the other day. I thought, hey, Kyle Pitts probably going to be in demand most on Sunday. I would pick up the team of the week for about 19K. Got two of them, sold him for 37, 38K. The big thing was you really need to sell these guys in the first few hours because everyone is buying their teams in the first few hours where they're not in the afternoon. So you got to sell a lot of these guys like the powers, for example, Marcus Allen. I picked up a couple of his powers for like three to 4,000 coins, 21K. You'll see Deion Sanders that picked up for 45K power wise. He went up to 25K. Joey Galloway was more of a, I thought the flashback 97 would drop down to price. So I picked up the 89 Joey Galloway a lot of times on stream for like 15,000 coins and he's gone up to about 45K. So a lot of my smaller investments hit. I didn't really have any big investments. It was pretty much just, hey, LTDs and my small investments. And for the most part, they hit. The only thing I would really say I was incorrect on would I, be, I guess be the most in-demand players like Ultimate Legends, Randy Moss, they really like spiked in the price fast. I mean, if you weren't on the first five to 10 minutes, like solely looking at Randy Moss, you probably missed out on like a 50K difference in the buy window. But when it came to like Barry, I mean, Barry Sanders, the the Bonos card that I bought for 150, those ended up hitting pretty big 200K. I mean, I bought like a Reggie White 96 when I first logged on in the morning. When Reggie White kind of got announced or before the, before the gifts or before the eggs opened, I bought a Reggie White 96 for like, I think it was 220,000 coins. Flipped that, flipped it for basically, I think I like 345, 350. But when it came down to sales, I found myself just selling a lot. And these actually are for them last night, but I've sold pretty much as many cards as I have bought. But that's going to wrap up the, the, you know, the remainder of this video. Again, stream later today, 4 p.m. West Coast time, 7 p.m. East Coast time. When we open up all my eggs, kind of just talking about the market. You guys can let me know how your egg openings went. When it comes down to like what I'm buying throughout the rest of the day, I actually kind of like how the market has settled down. Not a lot of people, like the original panic buying and the original like surge of investors really buying up Reduxes, buying up Bonos. I think they've gone away and I'm kind of noticing the market has really settled down to a nice spot. Legends that were going for like 55 and 60K an hour ago are going for 50K like Richard Seymour and Roger Craig. So throughout the rest of the day, I am still gonna be buying. I wanna buy a lot of more Bonos, Reduxes, Legends, but I'm not gonna force the prices on a lot of my investments. I do wanna invest a lot for the NFL draft. I, I like a lot of guys, especially Redux players, getting upgrades, but I'm not gonna force, right? Coins are king moving forward. Yes, investing is fun, but there's really just NFL draft promo. And then after that, there's not too many ways for these players to get upgraded. So I'm not gonna overvest. Coins are king right now. Like I said, I'm going to I'm going to reiterate it 20 times. Don't overpay for investments. Now is not the time we got the crash. The market is going to stay this low. I think for the next few days, we don't have a training demand. There's not any LTDs and rerolls training. I think is going to stay on that 2.2, 2.3 mark until Friday. That's when I'm going to sell a majority of my players off. But hey, go in your binder. If some players are just randomly up in price, don't be afraid to sell. You don't need to wait right a week. If a player is up at 95 overall that you have is at 100,000 coins, go ahead and sell it, right? 95 is going for 60K. Your guy is up for 100K, go ahead and sell it. But that's gonna wrap it up, I think, for this video. Only video today, I think I'm gonna have two videos tomorrow. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna upload kind of my egg pack opening. Of course, we're gonna have Market Monday. Stream again later today, 4 p.m. West Coast time, 7 p.m. East Coast time. Hopefully your morning was great. Hopefully your Easter has been great. Spend time with your family. Hopefully you got the investments, the market stuff. Hopefully your eggs were good. That's all for this video. Comment if you have any questions. Like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, peace.